So we're just away from the main town, the modern town in Whitefield, hall to the church. But check this church out. So this is Church Lane. Actually called church something or other. The Commonwealth War Graves. So these are members of the Commonwealth. Look at that. Keep out. That's part of the church in some way or another. Old post. Probably like to the older site. All churches, all religious sites are part of an older site. We've discussed that before. So this is Norman windows and so this is possibly 500 years old or after that circa 500 years old they call it so after anything before that would have a rounded arch and I will show you one there's one in Ainsworth which is nearer to my hometown like I say I've got to get a move on I am getting a move on I'll just read those, they're 1976, they're cremated. And then once again we're getting interesting sounds near the church. So this is a typical example of a traditional English church, as I said. Uh, the last little bit I filmed was a bit rough, as I said, but I'm, I'm not editing it. I don't want to edit things, that's what I've been doing. And the timeline goes out of sync and then you're losing information. Or I'll repeat myself. Now look at this doorway, this is what we're doing. I'm trying to get back to Radcliffe after this, so I really am going to get a move on after this. You can't just walk past it and not film it. Yep, so that's a traditional style English church. Also we'll get a shot of the time, Manchester UK. A brief video of time. So let's, we're vlogging the city of Manchester, we're, sit, we're also filming history, just anything I think is relevant or interesting or something we might not notice anymore that's just there in the middle, it shows us the way we used to live. So I think we've got the church, some nice houses and all the stone walling. Obviously now we're at the graves. So like I said, there's the time I said I was going to get a move on. We've got to get this grave, haven't we? That's what I'd call a fantastic grave. <laughs> if there is such a thing. That's... We're going to find out who this person is. Obviously. So the different sorts of crosses once again, as we've seen in before. inside there and have a look up there. You know, you see some rubbish churches sometimes. They're just in the back of warehouses and stuff and it's just, it's beautiful, isn't it? Whatever it, its belief was, it, the grandeur, you know what I mean? It's like the splendour of it all. But once again, we've still got the Celtic history that people want to keep hold of. Anglo-Saxon. Celtic. It's that, it's that era. I know that it's more Northern and Ireland and the Irish and more the Celts. I think I, I must have that sort of blood in me anyway because I'm, I'm fascinated by them and I'm attracted to them. I don't necessarily believe in reincarnation but as a scientist <coughs> I believe it's possible your DNA could be exactly replicated. If it's like a 65 billion to one chance that your DNA is exactly the same again, then use the chance that you could exist again. With no knowledge of that. That's if we're just random numbers, as they say we are. We're made of DNA, aren't we? So if your DNA comes up exactly the same again, and I believe that you might pop back. <laughs> but I don't believe in reincarnation. 
and you wouldn't have any knowledge of it happening. It's just a scientific sort of theory that. But if your DNA was exactly replicated and you were still alive, look what happens there. <laughs> Can you be two people at the same time? And twins, that's happening with twins, isn't it? And triplets. Anyway, just saying. So it is possible for three people to exist, but with different consciences. Isn't it weird? Anyway, because that's one thing we still haven't sussed out, really. Our consciousness, where we really come from. What it's, you know what I mean? What, what makes us different from the rest of the species on the planet all around us? Still baffling that, isn't it?